Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambeau channel, and if the majority of the analysts that I follow are correct, uh, you're reaching the tail end of a period in time where you can buy XRP anywhere near its current price. And, uh, and good news if you are in the market, and if the chart analysts that I follow by and large are correct, uh, you may be seeing XRP at a price a fair bit discounted compared to where we are now. But even if so, it's probably going to be a really short-lived thing. And unfortunately, anybody that's not looking to buy, especially if they're near the space, they can imagine the fear and panic that will set in as XRP goes down. Oh my God, this guy is falling. It's just uh, the way the way human psychology works on this stuff. It's it's just fascinating. And I don't blame people to respond that way. Like, I understand you got skin in the game. You've invested in something. And when you start to see it go down, it could feel, you know, not so good. Perfectly reasonable, normal response also not helpful you know uh, for long-term profits because emotionally buying and selling not ideal so it's best to just understand market cycles but i'm going to share with you in this video opinions from a number of analysts and uh, it'll be interesting you know, seeing what happens over the coming days because even though i will tell you here at the outset you know most analysts that I follow, strong majority, are finally on board with this idea that, yeah, we're probably going to see, we've already seen like a, a leg down, so to speak. Um, I can't remember exactly how far Bitcoin went down percentage-wise from its top. It was like, maybe it was 23, 25%. I think it was somewhere around there. But pretty much uh, everybody's on board at this point with the idea of Bitcoin having another leg down, which will drag down the rest of the market. And so when I'm talking about uh, last opportunity for XRP at these prices, I know famous last words, right? Well, it depends on whether or not these analysts are right, though. But uh, I'll tell you, over the last few years, how many times have I heard you'll never be able to buy XRP at these prices again? I've been mean, hearing that for three years. Except for this is different because we're actually finally, for sure, in a, in a bull market here. And so if we do see a dip down a bit, and I'll talk about that in a moment, specifically what that might look like, uh, in, in this particular case, they're all calling for a market rebound. So if that happens, holy freaking hell, I mean... You're going to see, I personally believe that you're going to see XRP rally along with every other large and mid-cap coin, uh, which is what happened uh, last market cycle, literally. I've, told, I've been saying this, sorry, I've been saying it too much lately, but for, for those of you that are new, in November 2017, I was new to crypto. I bought 17 different cryptocurrencies, and every single one of them went parabolic, just like rocketed off the charts before ultimately retracing like 80 or 90 plus percent, <laughs> undoubtedly, but uh, they all did rock it up. And so humans are behaving the same this market cycle. That's what I'm seeing. So I think XRP and everything is going to have its turn here. Um, so the question becomes then, if that is indeed the case, if everything's going to go, it's like, what's going to pop first? That's a fun game to try and play. Uh, I don't know how well we're going to play it successfully, but I do think everything's going to pop here. And then the question after that is once it hits whatever its high will be for this market cycle, first of all, I suspect it'll be it'll hit its all time high and smash past it. Don't know for sure how high a lot of analysts are still calling like blockchain backer says 10 to $13 DIY investing. He still says, you know, 10 to $30. I think credible crypto is, is somewhere in between there also. Uh, so there's all sorts of analysts that still believe that will happen this market cycle. But it makes me wonder what kind of retracement are we going to see? Because if you're talking about, you know, going up to even just $10, if you see a 90% retracement from $10, you're still looking at a low XRP price for the bare proportion of next market cycle of $1. And, and so I don't and think about it though, you know, XRP, it did get down even this market cycle to 11 cents this past March. So who knows? It's certainly possible. Um, I, I should mention, too, I don't have a financial background of any kind. I'm not offering financial advice, and you should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast in this space, and I make YouTube videos purely as a hobby. Now, as I record, this XRP is at 44.4 cents. Bitcoin is at $47,779. Market cap for the asset class. One trillion five hundred and twenty eight billion dollars in Bitcoin dominance, fifty eight point two six percent, according to live coin watch. That's if that's accurate, that's the lowest I've seen it in a hot minute. That's for damn sure. Um, oh, by the way, the spark token, uh, this is the, the IOU uh, at sixty one cents worth more. This IOU 
for the, for the spark token is worth more than XRP currently. Uh, but, but you know what? I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad. You, you slap the XRP price on top of that. I'm like, whew, all right, we got some now. <laughs> um, and so I was watching a, a video from my fellow XRP YouTuber, the blockchain backer earlier today. And he wrote this on, on Twitter too about it. Get it this weekend, question mark? Big moves for Bitcoin as the altcoin market follows the, the lead down. And so the question I keep seeing everybody ask, every chart analyst all over Twitter is, are we going to see lower prices? Should I buy in right now if I'm looking to make purchases? And look, it's in the end, it comes to you. Like, I, I'm never going to offer financial advice. Um, I, I'll share with you what some of these individuals have to say here. Um Blockchain backer, he is still firm on the idea that uh, we will be seeing roughly $38,000 Bitcoin uh, in the short term. Now, in the coming days, it doesn't mean that you couldn't see even a brief bit of upward price action. But even if we see that, it doesn't mean that, uh, that, that, the, that the pattern that he sees in the chart would suddenly magically be invalidated. It doesn't mean that's going to happen. That's not what he's saying. Prices are volatile in crypto. And just because for a brief motion moment in time, because you're staring at the charts and you're hyper aware of price, even just because at a brief moment in time you see it go up, it doesn't mean that trend's going to continue. The charts are telling the analysts that I'm following, which have, and these analysts, they have almost all of them massive followings for well-deserved reasons, you know, they think that it is going to go down, you know, and so it's never a certainty. And so... I always keep that in the back of my mind, but usually when you see this type of alignment on an idea with these types of chart analysts that uh, have, you know, massive followings that are well-deserved, more likely than not, the patterns that they roughly expect to play out end up playing out. So if I had to bet, I'd say, yeah, they're probably right. You're probably going to see Bitcoin go down to whether it's 38 or 40,000 or somewhere thereabout. It's going to make XRP go down. Um, many analysts are saying, I think Credible Crypto the other day, he was saying maybe you'd see XRP in all likelihood, maybe 35 cents. He said in an unlikely scenario, I, I, I don't think I'm putting words in his mouth. I think he said you, you perhaps in an unlikely scenario, you could see XRP wick down to 25 cents, but he's not expecting that even. Um, and so that's kind of the range. But, you know, the on the question of like, should you buy now? Well, look, here's another person. So now on to the next tweet. This is from... Um, Somebody named DM was asking if, if uh, Credible Crypto, if he, if he thinks that uh, Bitcoin's going to be going down further. And he just wrote simply, don't think it's over and over yet. And in this tweet, uh, somebody named The Bob asked uh, Credible Crypto, what do you expect in, term, you know, in terms of Bitcoin price action? Everyone is talking about $38,000 to $42,000 dip, but I am afraid to miss my chance to fill my bags. And that is the risk you take, because if the analysts are wrong and you're not filling up now when you could... If it breaks to the positive, then you're going to have to buy in at a higher price if you still choose to buy in. And that's that's the risk. That is absolutely the risk. Um, but as far as this region that was cited here, 38,000 to 42,000, Credible Crypto wrote, looking for that same region. And so that's another analyst that is saying, absolutely, that is what I'm looking for. And so um, I, I, you guys make your own calls. You guys make your own calls. But... Uh, I, I'm expecting that these guys are right. And at some point, even if we happen to see in, in, over the next day or two, and that's an if, even if we happen to see a little bit of upward price movement, it just seems more likely to me, to me based on what I'm seeing from so many individuals that are coming to these conclusions on their own uh, that you're going to see some downward price action. But to me, like this doesn't make me scared, mind you. All of them agree too. And I, I should have said this sooner, but all of them agree, all the ones that I'm following that the macro trend is in place. So even though you're, you're in all likelihood going to see this pullback, it's not some sort of scary disaster scenario. They've seen this play out before on crypto charts, and it, it Bitcoin will rocket back up. They firmly believe all of that. In terms of their market, uh, you know, tops, you know, predictions for, for Bitcoin, none of that has changed. That's still absolutely all in play. And uh, here's a, a tweet from somebody named Zachariah to, to Credible Crypto, who wrote, um, are you scaling in when buying or are you just waiting? Like question mark. Like you buying all the way down or what? And this is interesting. So here's the way that he's he's talking. Mind you, Credible Crypto, um, he's now got 125,000 followers, and he put a tweet out somewhat recently. I actually highlighted on the channel when, uh, you know, he, he you know just a few years back, the last market cycle. Uh, I mean, he, he was new to everything, mind you. 
And uh, he was talking about how he was making all the same typical newbie retail mistakes effectively where, you know, um, you're um, basically FOMOing in and panic selling this or that. And now he learned from all of that and he's doing the opposite and he, t- and he's, he's gotten spectacular at technical analysis and now has a massive following of 125,000 followers. Here's what he's doing. He wrote, since I already have a very large position, I am fishing for the bottom. If I wasn't already fully allocated, I would def be scaling in. So he's, he's talking about if he didn't have a substantial position in whatever coin that he's interested in. In this case, they were talking about HBAR. It doesn't matter, though. If you didn't have a substantial position, but you want you want a more substantial position, you just dollar cost average in. You know That way you don't plop all of your funds down at one point and you, you get a nice average out so you don't have the risk of accidentally buying with all of your available funds too high. And so some people then want to beat themselves up when they're like, oh, I just bought it cheaper. It went up a little bit. Yeah, don't play that game with yourself. I don't think it's worth it, though. You know, because I'm never going to beat myself up for not being able to buy the low and not being able to sell the high. I just think that's completely unrealistic. And I think if you try to sell the top, like seriously, as soon as things go up, if you try and sell the top, I bet you get wrecked. I'm, I seriously bet you're going to have a really bad time because humans can't do that. Like, think about it. And I've said this before on my channel so many times. Substantially less than 1% of humans will ever buy the bottom of a cycle. Substantially less than 1% of humans will ever sell the top of a cycle. So why beat yourself up over, over not being able to do that? Why be like, oh, yeah, if I had only done this or that? I'm just like, no, 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 no. The what if that th- th- these are games for children. You don't you don't have to do that to yourself. You're fine. You know, uh, you just make your own buying, selling, holding decisions, whatever you want to do. But don't emotionally beat yourself up because you don't have this magical ability that no human has. Like, seriously, even the best chart analysts, they're just like, yeah, we know. Well, like Blockchain Bank was talking about that even recently. It might, I can't remember if it was the video today or not, but he was just talking about this idea of it, why it makes sense to scale out. It's the same crap I've been talking about for over two years on this channel. I'm not a chart analyst, mind you, but it's it's nice to see that, uh, that, that uh, approach you know, validated by, by somebody like blockchain backer, not just Tim, credible crypto here too. Like they're, they're all talking about the same stuff. It's scaling in, you know? Um, and then here's a tweet from Josh Rager, another very popular chart analyst who has uh, 113,900 followers. And he wrote quick minute Bitcoin market update as we go into the weekend. And I watched this little clip. It was just a couple minutes long. And he was citing that, uh, in his opinion, you know, Fridays and Saturday, Saturdays are typically the most lame in terms of price action. And so if the market's going to break one way or another, it's more likely, he says, to occur on Sunday or Monday. And uh, he, he does. He's another chart analyst. And he does think that you're going to be seeing $40,000 Bitcoin. That's the level that he cited. And so, again, it's like we're splitting hairs here. Whether you're blockchain backer and you say 38000 whether you're Josh Rager and you say 40000 the point is they believe that there really is going to be another leg down and it's coming. So if they're correct, there could be some substantial opportunities because this will drag if this happens. I, I firmly believe it will drag the rest of the altcoin market down with it. And for me, that will uh, that will be exciting for me. And so I'm waiting for it to drag them more. So I, I personally, I'm happy to share what I'm doing. You do whatever you want. I'm not advising, but um, I, I tap the pause button. Um, I am personally counting on, um, on, on the market tanking a little bit. And that will excite me. When I wake up, I'm going to be excited. And I will know that other people that are waking up, most of them looking at those uh, that their portfolios, they're going to be feeling petrified, terrified. And I'm just going to be sitting there happy. And if they want to sell their fear to me, um, I'll, I'll be happy to purchase their fear at a discounted rate. Yeah, ha- absolutely happy to do that. Um, and then there is this from Michael Vandepop. I'm just highlighting this just for the for some kicks here. Because this guy, like, I actually, I enjoy following him. He's got 143,900 followers. So he's a popular chart analyst in the world of crypto. But he does not like Ripple. He does not like XRP. And so I've just kind of joked because <laughs> it's funny, like, it's just he's just been so wrong about his XRP price predictions, but he's so right about almost everything else. And I'm like, hmm, might your bias be seeping into your analysis? <laughs> Me thinks yes. And so, um, so nothing personal against him at all. But I just, I just see that from people. That's fine. I don't care if he likes. I don't. I don't need people to like what I like for me to like them. I'm, I'm just saying, I don't care if he likes Ripple and XRP. I just think that he has a wrong, an opinion that doesn't make sense. In, but that's fine. You know, whatever. I'm an adult. 
Um, and so anyway, somebody asked him, XRP target, please, to which he responded between zero dollars and infinity. Oh, <laughs> it's like, a, OK, thank you, Michael Vandepop. That's very helpful right there. <laughs> oh, man. And so um, and high altitude investing. So this is the analyst I've been highlighting and deservedly so, I'd say, because he was the most um, emphatic about this idea of the market going down. He said, for sure, yes, it's going down. He was the most bold about it. He was correct, and he believes it's going down further. And he wrote here, to be honest with you, I'm bearish on everything right now. He because th And the, think about that. So why would that be the case, though? Well, the market moves in tandem. And so in particular, if Bitcoin's bearish, then way more likely than not, altcoins are going to drop on down along with it. This is not surprising at all. Uh, he also tweeted this out. I said I wouldn't have sympathy for bulls before this crash. And he's talking about, and I highlighted that tweet too. He's, he's like, I have no, something along the lines of, I have no sympathy if you purchase now because he was he putting out the warning that market was going to be, be, be crashing. You're going to have another leg down. Uh, but then he wrote, I actually do have sympathy for you as I have experienced losses before in the market. I will say though that those losses were some of my biggest teachers choose to learn from them. And I would say one of the greatest things that um, I learned a very long time ago is that majority opinion in a general sense in these markets is almost always wrong. And that shouldn't be surprising when you once you acknowledge that most people lose money in this market, that should not be surprising to you. If most people are losing money in this market, then most people are wrong, meaning the majority is wrong. So whatever the sentiment is, if it's euphoric, you should be scared. And if people are scared, that might be a good time to be bullish. And to me, just even understanding something as simple as that is extremely helpful but even if you logically know that seriously here listen to me on this even if you logically know that now try and apply that in the real world even if you logically know that you're still going to feel emotions and so when things are super duper low in price and it's scary and it might not be at the bottom or this or that it's not going to feel good making those purchases for most people now for me i'm actually over that um, but for most people, and, and, and so like, you're not weird if you're one of these people, you're perfectly normal. Uh, but, but yeah, you're probably going to feel like that. So just, just be aware of all of this, you know, emotions are, you know, emotions are, are kind of detrimental when it comes to investing in the world of crypto, I would say. So, um, so I'm, I'm waiting. I just, uh, I'm patient when I got money, um, waiting to be thrown into a, a handful of cryptocurrencies that I would, I would like to, if given the opportunity at a lower price, I'd, I'd like to stock up. But if not, I am happy with what I, I currently am holding. If I can't, don't purchase another single coin at all, this market cycle, I think I'll be fine. But I would prefer to put a lot more money and it's just like, you got to incentivize me a little bit. You got you to gotta, you gotta tantalize me. Like, uh, bring down that price a little bit. And I will be feeling great. I'm going to be feeling, I'll be feeling euphoric when everybody else is, is scared. Like, that's that's how I'm going to respond to all of this. So, um, so that's kind of what we're looking at here. We're kind of in a little bit of a limbo, just like I was kind of saying yesterday, according to all these chart analysts. But we're not going to have to wait that long. We could see something tomorrow, but maybe Josh Rader's right. And we're going to have to wait till Sunday or Monday to start to see which direction this thing breaks. But I'd be willing to bet that these analysts are correct, and we're probably going to be seeing some serious action to the downside. So um, even if you're not looking to purchase, uh, it, it doesn't mean that it's time to, to panic and be scared. At least you're informed now, even if you're not in the market to purchase more crypto. Uh, but for those that do want to purchase more, uh, if there's a discount like me, perhaps, perhaps then, uh, yeah, this could represent an excellent opportunity. But um, I'll go ahead and wrap up there. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.